Welcome to a Vanguard news video without the bullshit. Let's get started. I'm seriously not in the mood to just see more Talcan Ranbu cards for DTB07, but they apparently got more Crest cards. Tachi ability Kiwimi is a Talcan Ranbu Crest card. While on Vanguard at the beginning of your battle phase, you reveal the top card of your deck then retire one of your opponent's rear guards, if it was a trigger unit, you send it to the drop zone if it wasn't. And once per turn while on Vanguard, you can pay 2 counter blast at the end of the battle your Vanguard attacked, to stand itself, but loses 1 drive check. So the Samurai Sword Crest turns them into a discount Overlord deck. Makes sense when you realize Overlord did like to wear stylized Samurai armor. His Amaru Kiwimi when sent from your deck to the drop zone during your turn, lets you either call him to rear guard, or add him to your hand, if you have a Tachi ability crest. And while on rear guard or guardian circle, he gets 10k power and 5k shields, if you have Higekiri on the field. Seems that this isn't just a discount overlord deck, but also a discount grand blue deck as well. Higekiri when sent from your deck to the drop zone during your turn, lets you either call him to rear guard, or add him to your hand, if you have a Tachi ability crest. And once per turn while on rear guard, you can pay 1 discard at the end of the battle he attacked a grade 3 or higher unit and your vanguard hasn't attacked this turn, to stand his Amaru on your rear guard. We are reaching meta tier with samurai sword boys being able to do 5 attacks in 1 turn. Yari ability Kiwimi is a Taukan Ranbu crest card. While on Vanguard, it attacks all of your opponent's units in one column. And while on Vanguard, you reveal the top card of your deck when it attacks then it gets 26k power, if it was a trigger unit. You send it to the drop zone if it wasn't. Oddly specific that it gets 26k power, is there something special about straight spear boys having 39k power? Tonbo Kirikiwimi while on rear guard, makes you move one of your opponent's rear guard to a rope and central back row rear guard circle, when he attacks a vanguard, while you have a Yari ability crest. Then you can pay one counter blast to draw a card, and he gets to K power. So that makes it a grand total of 41k with the crest card, it's still a weird value, when most units are on the 3k or 8k threshold. Nagi Nata ability Kiwimi is a Talcan Ranbu crest card. While on vanguard at the beginning of your battle phase, you reveal the top card of your deck then one of your opponent's rear guards with a grade equal or lower than the revealed card cannot move to a different rear guard or guardian circle, and it cannot stand on your opponent's next stand phase. You send the revealed card to the drop zone, if was a normal unit. And while on vanguard, it attacks all of your opponent's front row units. So curved spear boys mimic mega colony and vermilion at the same time. What's next? Gun Crest card copies Bermuda Triangle. Iwatoshi Kiwimi when sent from your deck to the drop zone during your turn, lets you either call him to rear guard, or add him to your hand, if you have an Agi Nata ability crest. And while on rear guard, you can pay one counter blast, when he attacks a vanguard, while the air opponent has no front row rear guards in the same column as him, to draw a card, and he gets 5k power. So this is to assume your curved sword boy vanguard attacked first, in order to utilize his skill. Hachisuka Katetsukiwimi Sento, while on vanguard or rear guard is regarded as Hachisuka Katetsukiwimi. Once per turn while on vanguard, you can pay one counter blast, to give three of your rear guards the boost ability and 5k power. And while on vanguard, you can pay one counter blast, if you persona road this turn, or put Hachisuka Katetsukiwimi from either your hand or rear guard into your soul at the end of the battle he attacked, to stand one of your rear guards. You stand to rear guards instead, if you have to or more Hachisuka Katetsukiwimi in your soul. It's looking like the Longsword Boy's grade 3 boss cards have really good vanguard abilities, while their crest card is becoming mid as hell. Do your Ashima Katetsuki with me once per turn, while on the back row rear guard lets you pay one soul blast when your other rear guard stand, except during your stand phase, to stand himself. I'm getting sick and tired of most of these cards doing almost the same thing. Finally, Kori Yukage Mitsuki with me when placed on rear guard lets you pay one soul blast, if you have a Hachisuka Katetsu Vanguard to call up to one unit card with a different name than this card, and with an equal or lower grade than your vanguard from the top 5 cards of your deck. And while on rear guard, while you're at 3 or more damage, he gets 5k power, when he attacks or boost, 
this is probably the first time I've seen an call ability that has two kinds of conditions, they really trying for this to not get abused. And that concludes this vanguard news video, be sure to scrub scribe and let me know in the comments how Talcan Ranbu has made you sick and tired of restanding cards.